Hello, yogis. Hello, sadakas. We have reached our 20th class. I am so elated that you have been watching, maybe partially practicing with all the uh, 20 classes that I have been offering through River City Pilates. A huge thank you to Carrie Sadler at River City Pilates, the owner who made it really easy for me to just record these sessions and she did the rest and uploading it and giving it back to the community so I can fulfill a requirement of uh, the studio that I'm doing this um, 300 hours teacher training. The studio's name is MVP. It stands for My Vinyasa Practice in Austin, Texas. And Michelle Young is the owner. Check it out online. It, she made it so accessible to everyone. Um, it's all online because of the pandemic. Yoga Alliance is allowing studios to go online and teach online. So that's what I'm taking advantage of. And I am elated with the knowledge, the newfound knowledge that I can contribute a little bit more to my practice and maybe share it with you. Today's class will be Yoga Nidra. Yes, Yoga Nidra, the yogi sleep, conscious sleep. And I'll talk a little bit more about it and some restorative poses directly at the wall. But before I go there, again, I wanna acknowledge one more time, Carrie Sadler, at River City Pilates who are uploading, doing the technical stuff for me. Shelly is a wonderful co-teacher there at the studio. She is helping a lot. So thank you, Shelly, from the bottom of my heart. And coming now to the MVP studio staff, there are so many of them, so many great and knowledgeable people. But foremost, I wanna thank Michelle for her dedication to her studio and to us. I want to thank Anna Pilar Cruz. I learned a ton of from you and you are so fun to do those workshops with. Julia Stemko, wonderful, technical, talented person who knows everything and does the sutras, the yoga sutras beautifully. I took some workshops with her. Tina Hilbert, uh, Kundalini Yoga was so, so foreign to me. You made it easy for me. I have the Sat Kriya from that. You said one thing out of my class and I have the Sat Kriya. Um, Leah Jones, Grace Seeker or Seeker. I, I apologize if I butcher your last names. Tara Clayman um, and Sue Goodley. Thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart for all your efforts in these beautiful workshops and the ton of knowledge that you're sharing with us. So I'm sitting on the floor on my favorite cushion. Why am I sitting like this? I like to put my weight on my heels, but this is something we're gonna come out of it quickly. If you liked this with a cushion, it definitely is a bit easier. Find a wall space and I have my wall space right there. So I have my short edge of my mat against the wall. I think you can see it. So you can stop this recording to get yourself ready. For the yoga nidra part, if you want to grab blankets, if you want to have a little bit more cushion underneath you on top of your mat, I am hesitant to suggest your sofa or your bed because you may fall asleep there easily. It is, after all, a conscious sleep. What does that mean, yoga nidra, if, ne if you've never done it before? It is, I will do probably the tw last 20 minutes of the class. And I'm gonna leave you at that position and end the class like that. And you decide when to get up. It is a guided meditation. And so when you Google Yoga Nidra, what it really means, it, there are different explanations, but the gist is the practice creates physical and mental activities that change the brain waves to release emotional tension, slow down the nervous system and allow muscles to relax. So we collect over our lifetime, a lot of tension and trauma, little traumas, big traumas that can put an imprint into our well-being. As you know, I'm talking about the koshas, about the layers of our being. And 
the kleshas, the mental fluctuations in our brain. So the yogis back when, uh, 4,000 years ago, or even 5,000 years ago, this goes all the way back to the Vedas, the Rig Vedas, um, have had only one tool to, or two tools to really manipulate the body. The first one is the breath that we know now. And the second one was probably yoga nidra to free oneself and just be. If you Google I rest or yoga nidra, I will read a script from I rest, um, I, the letter I and then rest. You see a ton of uh, recorded sessions. If you like it, uh, maybe you can repeat it again. So long speech. Now I'm ready. I hope you were getting ready with your blankets. You can cover yourself for yoga nidra. You can put the blankets underneath you. I'm gonna take my cushion to the wall so I can have a little bit of a cushion um, on my lower back because we're gonna be here for a while. So no breathing, no exercising with the breath. If I have the time, of course I will squeeze in a breathing technique at the end, but sometimes I run out of time. So let's see how it goes. So I have my cushion right here. I should take my feet away against the wall or a little bit away from the wall. Then I'm gonna sit on top of it and come close to the wall. So the cushion slides here too. Maybe yours doesn't slide. So you're gonna make it work. I'm, cut, I'm coming as close as I can as my body will allow me to come to the wall sideways, sit it, sit it up. And then I'm turning my back onto the mat and legs up the wall one at a time. And here you have still the opportunity to adjust, to squeeze, squeeze, squeeze scoot forward to the wall, maybe with the cushion, maybe without the cushion, see how it works. Maybe it doesn't work for you with the cushion. So make it work for yourself, however it feels good. So I feel like I need to go a little bit closer to the wall, or maybe you use the cushion for your head. That's nice too. So I'm gonna come out of it a little bit more. There you go. And then just bring your hands to your abdominal, and let's breathe here. I said no breathing, but this is just the normal breathing. And maybe you can even fill the belly up with the breath, the prana that comes into your body. And then as it exits your body partially, not the whole thing, you bring the belly back down as you're exhaling it. And your hands can be the guide or one hand can be the guide. So inhale push the belly out towards the sky, exhale, bring it back in, inhale, and exhale, inhale deeply, exhale slowly, Inhale, and exhale. Couple more. One more. Let's go into soles of our feet together, knees out wide. You can stay higher up with the heels. You can pull them down. See where you're at with this. And if your the knee areas don't hurt, maybe you can even push the knees out. So this is a big stretch here in the groin area. So adjust your feet. And some of your soles of your feet will maybe open up like a book too, because you have the room or you're working on it. So if they're closed, maybe you're here and you can push a little out. If you're further out with the knees, then maybe even the soles of your feet open up. So these poses, 
you can interpret them as yin yoga because we're holding them longer. You know, I do yin yoga a little bit differently because I was trained by polysync. I flow more and, but there is always the option to hold the poses longer. And this would be a longer hold but the best part is we're taking gravity out of the joints because we're laying down. So it's less tension on, on all the joints that are um, helping us to do this. So focus on your breath, no bandhas, nothing, just the breath, inhale and exhale. Big breath in. Big breath out. Inhale deeply. Exhale slowly. Inhale. Exhale. If for any reason you're not comfortable and you want to change this pose, of course you're going to change this pose. When I say it's more restorative yoga, doesn't mean it fits all of us. Sometimes a pose that I feel like, oh my God, this is so good. Someone else may say, oh my God, I have so much tension. I don't like this feeling. Get out of it. It's not worth it. Legs straight up the wall is always a good option. So no matter what I cue and what I do, it is not worth to force our bodies into it. Our bodies are super sophisticated. We just need to learn to listen to it. Remember when you get a new puppy or an older dog, you need to first learn the language really to communicate with the dog or the puppy. And yoga gives us the tools really to be aware of so many layers of our body. Inhale. And exhale. Five more breaths here. Three more. Last one. Now slowly come out of it. If you need to release them up, Let's all release them up. Or maybe you're already staying a little longer because you liked it. Now let's go into our squatting position. So for that, I'm going to turn the toes out and heels in. And I'm pulling it down. At the same time, I'm widening my stance. Remember, I'm asking you come into your camper squat or squatting position, the malasana squat. Yep. This is a beautiful way of doing it without any pain in the knees because no gravity here. It does not reverse the blood flow here when you have, you know, for that, that's not medically possible, but it takes the gravity out of it and makes it a little bit easier on the joints. It may be your ankles or maybe your knees. So turn the toes out, pull the heels down as far as you can. Maybe you're out up here and that's great too. So I have the sole of my foot on the wall adjusted and then you can still pry it open if you still want more sensation. But I think this is enough sensation as it is. And you place your hands either on the floor or here on side of your knees. So just to give it a little bit more weight, see which which one you like the best. So and focus on your breathing. That's it. Inhale. And exhale. We're here approximately two minutes. So stay with it or change to the butterfly, you know, the soles of your feet together, knees out wide, or just legs up. You, you'll, you'll, I'll introduce you to more poses here. Big breath in, 
big breath out. That's the reason why I was saying this is more the yin yoga, the traditional yin yoga, which is great too, holding the poses longer. And because we're laying on the floor, the restorative part comes in, no gravity in the joints. It's all down into the earth, the energy, you know, and your breathing will just help you relax here. If your mind takes you more towards your shopping list today or what you did all day or any issues at the office or anything going on at home, bring back to the breath. Be the adult in the room. Push those aside and come back to the mind and body. And so we can stay with the breath. And you can always recite a mantra to yourself or count your breath here. Listening to the breath, listening to the breath and listening to the body, how it feels in a given moment. We're here, 20 more seconds. When you're ready to slowly come out of this, relax one leg up and then the next one. And again, of course, shake it out, shake it out. Beautiful, nice. All right, here we go. Let's put the figure four to test. So I have this, the balls of my feet off the wall. Only the heels are on the wall. I'm gonna take the right one first. So this is great. If you feel a stretch already, that's great. But if you need a little bit more, look, I'm bending into my left knee and I'm pulling the heel down, down, down. And your body will tell you when to stop or you're putting the sole completely against the wall or you have the toes off the wall. So make it your own. See where you need to be with this. You don't have to thread your arms through to make it tighter. The wall does it for you. So it's not all that restorative. Sometimes restorative is just the easy stuff. This is a bit more on the harder stuff, especially the figure four. So the, the, the wall really pushes, pushes into your heel and the heel pushes into your figure four. So you can up higher up or slowly find your level that you're comfortable with and breathe. Don't forget to breathe. And if you feel like, ah, there's still more room, I can feel a little bit more. It's all on my right side. That much I'm going to tell you, but I'm not going to show you where. That is on to the individual yogi. And then maybe, maybe if you have a half lotus in your practice, try this one, pulling your heel down towards your left hip. Maybe that is a slightly different sensation or maybe you're here happy. So wherever you are, the main thing is that you listen to your body, stay with your breath, stay with your mantra and enjoy this deliciousness. It should be feeling nice, a sensation that you can stand, not something that you are suffering through. That's not the purpose of this pose. And inhale and exhale. So we are here another 45 seconds before we switch to the other side. Does that mean you have to stay for the next 45 seconds here? Of course not. If you want to switch earlier, go for it. Take, you have that freedom. It's your body. Even in the regular 
yoga class, if you don't want to hold the pose as long as this teacher is suggesting, just switch to the other part and then switch back to the original side and then switch again. You can make it work for yourself. That's the most important part. Ten more seconds, if you like. And I'm not doing anything with my head. I should have grabbed another cushion for my head, actually. It would have been nice. I'm going to release my left foot or my left heel rather up slowly, release the right leg up, shake it out as long as you need to, and then try the right, the left ankle to the right knee. So I'm flexing my foot here somewhat to protect the knee, you know, it's just so all connected with each other. And then I'm pulling down the right side. Well, right away off the bat, I can feel that I'm more tight here on this side. So it doesn't feel as easy as on the, it was on the other side. So I'm gonna stop maybe even higher up this time. You can put the whole foot down against the wall, make it your own. You don't need your arms to thread through because the wall is giving you enough of tension to feel the stretch. So definitely on the left side now, and the right side is just helping you to get used to this as an assistant to get this yummy stretch out of it. So by now you understood, of course, <clears throat> this is a much slower flow. It's a combination of restorative, slow flow yoga and yin yoga. <clears throat> So wherever you are, make it work. You don't have to stay at the same spot the whole time against the wall. You can move the foot up or you can move it down. And like with the other side, if you have a half lotus in your practice, give it a try. Maybe you have the room to pull the heel down and get a slightly different stretch on this one. Just focus on the breath back again. Don't lose the breath. Don't let your mind take you out of this and take you to your, what am I going to do tomorrow? What's going to happen next week? It doesn't matter. You committed to your own practice. We should be grateful that we have the body to practice and just stay here with the breath. Be the adult in the room. Come back to your breath, body and mind together. We have 30 more seconds here. When you're ready, slowly maybe move your right heel up the wall to release your figure four and then shake it out. Very good. Nice. If you want a little bit of movement in your, you know, the sacrum, the lower back, you can always pull the knees in and rock from side to side. You can always go into half baby. Half baby can be right here where you grab behind your kneecaps and pull the knees down or shin bones, or you have maybe the outside of your feet, the pinky toe side and you're rocking. So options, those are all options if you need a little break in between. So shake it out, open up to a full straddle. How far? Oh, your, your body, believe me, your body will tell you. So you can experiment with flexing and pointing your toes here, flexing and pointing. Which stretch do you like better? Point, flex, or relax maybe. 
Maybe you liked it completely relaxing, not pointing or flexing the ankle. So that is a totally different stretch for me. If I relax, point or flex. So you decide which one you like, and maybe you can go in between back and forth. It's quite a stretch here, but I love it. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. I can, I used to, when I used to practice in class, I mean, in the studio, or I'm teaching in a studio, when we are in a sort of Shavasana position, I would put my legs up the wall and go into a straddle and spend my Shavasana like this. This is for me the best Shavasana. Legs up the wall or straddle or anything against the wall. I like the wall. Stay with the breath. Inhale deeply. Exhale slowly. Big breath in, big breath out. We have 30 more seconds in this pose, if you like, or adjust can always bring the legs a little closer towards each other or maybe you're trying out a different position with your ankles and feet Last 10 seconds. On your next breath in, slowly bring the legs towards each other. Don't rush here, slowly, slowly. It's quite different when you hold it longer. I did this one time for 10 minutes and I could barely move my legs. And maybe bend your knees, windshield wiper your hips. Remember all this, we can do it on the floor too. We used to do this, all the 19 classes. This is one of my to-go pieces to relax the hip. Yeah, that's it. Now. Cross your ankles. Just remember which one is on top. My right one is on top. I'm on the, on the pinky toe side of my feet. Now, open up the knees. It's good. For some of us will be enough. But I need to actually focus on keeping the soles of my feet down. And then, and then try to open up the knees. I, this is hard work, keeping the soles of your feet on the wall and try to open up the knees. I'm almost like cramping up, so I'm going really slow. So give this a couple times. We're not going to hold this. Just if you need to roll to the pinky toe side, be it. I need to get out of it because I've just cramped up. So and then switch, switch to the other side. So maybe roll to the pinky toe side and then bring it together. Roll to the pinky toe side and then the soles of your feet to the wall. So give it a try. All right, my cramping is releasing now. That was hard. When we one more time and then switch again. And then open and close. So you're rolling to the pinky toe side and rolling. This is just movement for the ankles. That's it. Because we don't have the gravity. This is the, that's the reason why I'm doing this. For me, it didn't work out today, keeping the soles down. And doing this, I wanted to do it, but it didn't work out. So I'm not going to go against my body's wishes. So change one more time. And then open up 
four or five times and close the knees and then just shake it out again, all up. Arms need a little shaking out, legs need a little shaking out, that's it. And then maybe you can do the half triangle. How am I doing this? The left leg goes into a straddle and the right heel comes in. So the knee, I'm pushing the knee towards the wall. Maybe you can bring the right heel in more. Maybe you leave it higher up. So this is a different version of the straddle. This we call in yin yoga, a half triangle. That's it. Here is the yin yoga part. We won't stay here very long. I'm going to quickly change. This is not a hold position, but you can hold. So I'm here another 30 seconds. Ten more. Three more breaths. And then when you're ready to switch, maybe bring the straight leg first up, shake them out, and then the right leg goes to the right. I'm going to show you. And then the left heel comes down to your triangle, half triangle. Yeah, you adjust wherever you are is perfect. So we're only here, maybe top one minute. That's it. Maybe flex your toes, the right toe or point. Maybe you li like it relaxed. So make it your own, but stay with the breath. Don't lose the breath. Big breath in, big breath out. Couple more breaths here. And then when you're ready, come out of it the way you like it the best. So I'm slowly coming up, releasing everything up. And then of course, shake, 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 shake. That's it, shake, 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 shake. Okay, so a little bit more for the spine. Otherwise, we will fall asleep here. Okay, so I'm bending my knees to your level of bending. Feet higher up, feet a little bit lower down. You will adjust, I promise you, you will adjust. Maybe feet are hip distance, hands are down. Can you peel yourself slowly off your cushion or your mat? Slowly up, 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 up. And then slowly come down, 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 down. Now adjust here. If you need to go higher up with your feet, go higher up. Or if you found the sweet spot for your feet, you are already there. So here we go up, 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 up. And then slowly come down, roll down slowly. One more ray at a time. That's it, perfect. And then slowly up, inhale, 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 inhale. Exhale slowly down. If you need several inhales and exhales, you need several inhales and exhales. Nothing wrong with that. So I'm not going to cue the breath here. Up, 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 up. Don't forget to breathe. Don't hold your breath. And then down, 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 down. Perfect. Maybe three more times or stay here if you, if you had enough. Stay. Or if you want to come with me three more times, up, 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 up. And then down, 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 down. Remember, no holding breath here. Two more. Up, 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 up. 
Slowly roll down, 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 down. No rising. And it feels nice to land on the cushion. Up, up, last time, up, 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 up. And then exhale slowly down. Now I cute the press, even though I didn't want to do it. <laughs> My brain just took over. All right. So shake it out again. Shake it out. Shake it out. You can always wiggle with the, you know, the lower back as much as you can over with the torso or arms up. Shake them out. Shake, 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 shake. Okay. Let's do a little twisting. How? We're going to do it very gently. Let me walk towards the right first so you can see it on the camera. So I'm bringing my feet towards the right side. Baby steps, baby steps, baby steps, baby steps. Maybe you stay higher up. Maybe you have room to come a little lower. Maybe you have room to come all the way down. So my, the soles of my feet are against the wall. My knees are down. Now check in with your left shoulder, maybe completely off the ground and that's okay maybe it's off the ground maybe you can push the left shoulder down see how you feel and turn your nose towards your left arm your left thumb adjust here and breathe no bandhas no specific breathing just your normal breath just don't hold your breath Big breath in, big breath out. Inhale deeply, exhale slowly. Inhale and exhale. I won't hold us too long in this position. This is a little bit harder with both soles or one sole against the wall. So one more breath here. And we're going towards the other side. When you're ready, start very slowly. Find a way to press against the wall to help you walk your feet towards the other side or stay in the center a little bit. If you need to shake out your legs, shake out your legs like this. And then come with me towards the left side. Stay higher up. Go a little bit further down. Or maybe you come all the way down to the floor. And the soles of my feet are against the wall. If you need to separate from the wall, of course you're going to separate from the wall. There is no yoga police here. Anytime you don't agree with something IQ, you're going to modify it for yourself. Now my right shoulder wants to come off the floor, which is natural because this is a big twist for the torso. Only if you have the room, push your shoulder down, extend your arm up wide and look at your right thumb. If you don't have the room, sometimes our shoulder girdle doesn't allow us that, then your shoulder is off the floor. That's all you do. Better than not doing anything. As long as there is no pain in your joints, that's the most important indicator that a form of yoga asana that you're doing does not work for you. So you need to adjust it, even though the teacher hasn't caught on to that, or it's a multi-level class. It, unless you're in a private class, of course, the teacher will be more in tune with me, with you. But if you're in a studio class or Zoom class, unfortunately, there is no way that the teacher can see everybody and how their bodies are reacting and will not be able to give you cues on how to modify. You're the best judge. You're the best teacher for yourself. And then slowly walk your feet back up the wall. And again, stretch it out, stretch it out, shake it out. And then maybe a little bit of this here. This is good for the feet, just to clap or stamp the wall here. We have the wall, just stamp, 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 stamp the wall. You're walking on the wall. That's it, that's it. Do a little dance routine here with your feet against the wall. Good stuff. There is a lot of sensory uh, sensors underneath the sole. 
underneath the feet, on the sole of our feet. So you want to do, you, first of all, the springtime is coming. If your floors are um, covered and you're not cold, that could be another factor why you choose to wear shoes or even socks. If you can go in wider socks or bare feet, best of all, bare feet is the best way for the feet. Couple more breaths here. That's it. Maybe a little step routine. No, no, I'm not a step dance. <laughs> and then just holding on your uh, ankle now. So just turn maybe away from the wall and do a little, you know, pointing and flexing, pointing and flexing. That's it. Perfect. And then let's do heels together, toes out. This would be ballet first position, if it's possible. Bend and relax, bend and relax, bend and relax, bend and relax. Perfect, bend, relax. Don't hold your breath. Nice. We're gonna do four more of these. Bend, relax. Bend, relax, bend, relax, bend, relax. Perfect. Shake it out, shake it out. Beautiful. And now I want you all to get ready for our yoga nidra. How? First of all, you can totally stay here. If you like this position and you don't want to change, hopefully you have the blanket already somewhere that you, it's close by, you can pull it and you can stop this recording. If you want to cover yourself that you're not cold doing yoga nidra, if you want to put socks on because your feet are getting cold, put on socks to be coming up against the wall. But the normal, the traditional yoga nidra, you would slowly come out of this and make your way onto your mat or you scoot yourself. You don't even come, have to come out of this completely. You can scoot yourself up your mat. So up your mat, up your mat. So you are completely flat on your mat. Now you decide cushions or blanket first. So if you have the blanket and you wanna put the blanket on your mat to make it more comfortable, you wanna put the cushion underneath your sacrum, your hips on the cushion, your cushions for your head, make it comfortable. But the idea is not to really fall asleep. If you happen to fall asleep, then you fall asleep. There is nothing you can do. That's okay to give permission to yourself to fall asleep as well. But if you can just get, if you've never done yoga nidra before, if you can maybe stay consciously awake because it's a stream conscious awakening state going back and forth to relax the body completely so that's what we're for and i hope you enjoy it it's a script that i will be reading off of it so stop this recording make your place the way you like it the best but probably don't move up to the couch or to the bed um, because there is a bigger likelihood you will fall asleep. So I am going to be seated so I can read the script to you. Whenever you're ready, you can make yourself comfortable and then turn on the recording so we can start yoga nidra just to remind everyone again what yoga nidra is it is a meditation practice that systematically combines deep relaxation affirmation breathing mindfulness visualization and self-inquiry to facilitate the integration of body, mind, and spirit. And we will start now your, the practice in your Shavasana position. Take a moment 
and adjust the body so that, so that you feel 10% more comfortable. Adjusting your clothes, your physical body, anything that you need to become more at ease. In the practice that follows, we will begin feeling through the sensory web of awareness, a feel sense of well-being in the body. Take a breath in through the nose, clench the mouth and jaw, and on your exhale, open the jaw. Relax the jaw and swallow to clear the throat. Inhale and draw the shoulders up to the ears and exhale, roll the shoulders onto the back body. Inhale as you ex inhale and as you exhale, send the breath to relax the upper arms, elbows, forearms. Inhale, exhale, let the entire front of the body soften. Inhale and squeeze the buttock. And as you exhale, relax the buttock onto the earth. Inhale, engage the quads. And as you exhale, relax the quads and knees. Inhale and flex the feet back towards the shin, activating the calf muscle. And exhale, relax the calf muscle. Rock the feet side to side. Relax the entire body. Observe the body as completely relaxed. Drop out of the thinking mind and feel the body as radiant sensation. Place your awareness in the mouth and jaw. Let go of the thinking and allow total awareness of the mouth, jaw, tongue, teeth throat. Give up thinking. Allow awareness to enter the right ear. Sense the right ear, the left ear. Welcome the sensation of both ears simultaneously as radiant sensations. Sense the cheeks, nose, the flow of prana in and out of the nose. Sense the right eye, left eye, both eyes as radiant sensation. Let go and drop into sensation. Sense your forehead cool and smooth. Sense the scalp, back of the head, face, jaw and neck as relaxed and easeful. Sense your right shoulder, your, sho your left shoulder, Right forearm, left forearm, right elbow, left elbow, right forearm, left forearm, right wrist, left wrist, right palm, left palm, right fingers, left fingers. Sense the right arm, 
Sense the left arm. Sense both arms at the same time. Sense your right chest, your left chest, your right abdomen, left abdomen, your right abdomen, left abdomen, your right buttock, your left buttock, your right lower back, your left lower back, your right upper back, your left upper back. Sense the back of the body. Sense the front of the body. Sense the whole torso at the same time. Sense your right hip, your left hip, your right thigh, your left thigh, your right knee, your left knee, your right shin, your left shin, your right ankle, your left ankle, your right foot, your left foot, the bottom of the right foot, the bottom of the left foot, the right calf, the left calf, the back of the right knee, the back of the left knee, the back of the right thigh, the back of the right thigh. Sense the right leg, sense the left leg, sense both legs at the same time. Observe the body through the lens of the observer, noticing the spacious openness of pure awareness where all of the sensations are arising. Watch sensations coming and going in awareness. Awareness of the sensation of breathing, the sensation of the beating of the heart, the sensation of your whole body relaxed, Observe the sensation of peace, contentment, joy, and relaxation spreading throughout your entire body. Observe the ever-present sensation of well-being spreading throughout the entire body. With each inhalation, feel the expansiveness quality of awareness and with every exhalation feel the sensation of warmth, security and well-being radiating throughout the entire body. Allow your undivided attention to be focused on feeling your entire body as a radiant field of sensation in which all things are rising. Observe any sensations, feelings, memories, or emotions arising and welcome them as messengers. Noticing any emotion, feeling, memory or sensation and simply acknowledging it and welcoming it into your awareness. Call to mind the opposite of the sensation, memory, feeling or emotion that is arising and notice what happens to the thinking mind when you bring both the feeling and its opposite into your awareness.
experience the quality of presence, awake and aware, intimate and intelligent, authentic, peaceful, creative. Feel sensations of emptiness, expansiveness, but at the same time, fullness and power. Rest here, feeling a felt sensation of presence. As you're ready, begin to awaken the inner ears to the sensation of sound. Awaken the ears to the sensation of sound vibrating in the inner ear canal. Continue to allow the body to awaken, inviting the sensation of touch to the fingers as you rub the thumb across the pads of the index finger, middle finger, ring finger, and pinky finger. Gently swallow and clear the throat, inviting the sensation of taste. As you're ready, gently open your eyes and awaken the sensation of sight, looking out into the world through the windows of the soul. I am going to leave you right here. If you desire, you can stay a little longer in this position, but I wanna thank you from the bottom of my heart for being with me for these 20 classes. And as usual, Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu. May all living beings everywhere be happy and free. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti He. Peace, peace, peace. Ekonkar, we're all one. Namaste. <laughs>